once you have set up your OxyHealth portable chamber, have run the initial inflation tests, and have familiarized yourself with its components and operation, you are now ready to begin using your portable hyperbaric chamber with occupants. Chamber Operation Video Assisting Others and Self-Use Safety First and Familiar Procedures Always before anything, Ensure that the air hose is securely attached onto the chamber and onto the air compressor. Make sure when attaching the hose that you hear the click. Once your compressor is plugged in, flip on the switch. It is important to have the compressors on and plugged into the chamber anytime you enter the chamber. This is your relief valve. When it is out like this, the air escapes the chamber to relieve pressure. By turning it clockwise from the outside, you can assist someone into the chamber from the inside, and you can see it's double-sided, you can turn it counterclockwise to close to seal and pressurize the chamber. There is no need to over-tighten it. There is an O-ring at the bottom. All you need to do is make sure it turns to feel the tension from contact with the O-ring. Then, turn to make a bit more snug. Entering the chamber with assistance. Make sure that the zippers are completely open to the top of the zipper track, so that entry does not put any strain on the zipper teeth. Then, open the top of the chamber and let them step into the chamber, facing the opposite direction of the head of the chamber. Next, ask the occupant about any pre-existing respiratory conditions or breathing difficulties. This includes congestion or the inability to clear the ears when experiencing pressure changes. Once all is clear and they're in a sitting position, just carefully watch their head and have them lie back into the chamber. Once they are inside, Reach for the internal zipper pull first and close it. You really want to make sure that it goes all the way to the top. If you're putting someone in, they can assist you by grabbing the zipper from the inside. Or, if you're a technician, you can use your index finger and push it all the way closed beneath the ceiling flaps. From there, you want to begin to close the outside zipper while smoothing and flattening out the gray seal flaps between the two zippers. You want to do this in segments. It's very important that this flap has no creases in it while you are zipping it. You can see here, a bend in the flap. Just flatten it out and continue to zip. Then, at the end before the last zip, stick your finger under the zipper to make sure that last part of the flap is flat. Then, zip all the way up. Ensure that it's to the very top. Close the inflation deflation valve for pressurization. Pressurization. The chamber will start pressurizing. It will take about five to seven minutes to completely get to pressure. Note, gauge the timing of the pressurization to about a minute to a minute and a half per PSI. This will help the occupant equalize ear pressure as the chamber begins to pressurize. Once it gets to pressure, you'll hear the relief valves begin to release air. That will maintain the four PSI throughout the chamber. Exiting the chamber with assistance. Slowly open the relief valve. Gauge the timing of the depressurization to about a PSI to a PSI and a half each minute to support equalization of ear pressure by the occupant. Encourage the Valsalva maneuver and jaw opening to support equalization of pressure. Checking with the occupant as you go. Once the pressure has been fully released and the pressure gauge shows that the pressure has released, begin to open the exterior zipper pulling it all the way open to the end of the track. Next, reach behind the gray ceiling folds and open the interior zipper. Again, all the way. Finally, open the chamber opening and help the person sit up, then stand up to exit the chamber. Alternately, a person can be picked up and out from inside the chamber, if needed. Finally, turn off the compressor. Entering the chamber and zipper closure for self-use. Make sure the compressor is on and the air hose is attached to the compressor and to the chamber. You will be stepping into the chamber from the top zipper opening. Then, you will sit down facing the end of the chamber. Start by zipping the interior zipper partially. Then, partially zip the top as well, over the gray flaps, tucking and smoothing them between the zippers as you go. Once you get them both closed about a quarter of the way, you can proceed from inside. Reaching beyond the gray flaps to the outside zipper, close the exterior zipper. 
grab the external zipper's loop lanyard and begin to lie back and close it fully. Then, from the inside, continue to align and smooth down the gray flaps between the zippers, completely flat as you close the internal zipper. Pressurization and relief valve. Closure. From inside the chamber, turn the valve counterclockwise to close. Once it hits a tension point, which means it's hitting the O-ring on the other end, gently turn until it's snug. At that point, the chamber will start to pressurize in about five to seven minutes to reach pressure. You will hear the relief valves maintain the four PSI pressure throughout. Exiting the chamber and depressurization process. Once you are done with the session time, you can begin to release the pressure by opening the pressure relief valve by turning it clockwise. Ideally, you will be gauging to release a PSI to a PSI and a half every minute to support equalization of ear pressure. Use the Valsalva maneuver and jaw opening to support equalization of pressure. Note, depressurizing too quickly may potentially increase discomfort, so mind the timing as you equalize ear pressure and the chamber releases pressure. Once the pressure has been fully released and the pressure gauge shows that the pressure has released, begin to open the interior zipper first, pulling all the way open to the end of the track. Feel for the top zipper lanyard of the zipper, then unzip all the way down. Once you've opened the top zipper, you can kind of pop your head out and open the rest of the zipper. Again, you want to make sure you open all the way so that you are not putting any strain on the zippers at any point. You may now exit the chamber, sitting up and coming out through the top opening. Turn off the compressor when out and done. This concludes the chamber operations video. For more videos like this, please visit our videos page on our website.